Hey guys. guys! My name is Lassa. And my name is Vivi. And this is a journal of good things. And today we have for you guys a DIY painting project that we think you love. Yes, definitely. And it's actually a project that we did ourselves back at Valentine's as a present. It's so awesome. You get to really enjoy, appreciate, see it every day and you're just proud of what you have created with your loved one. Yeah, and we had a lot of fun doing it. When I saw it on Pinterest, I just knew we had to try it. Yes, I also always want to have a piece of art on the wall behind the bed. They do tend to get a little bit expensive, so this is also an alternative way of getting something a little bit more affordable. Yeah, definitely. And you can also personalize it as you can choose any colors that fit your style, your decor and even your personality. So let's get started. You will need a canvas. Paint, whichever colors you want. Some paint brushes. A cute scissor. Painter's tape, and it's important that it's painted tape as you need to remove from the canvas. And some water to clean the brushes between colors. Here I'm painting thin curvy lines that almost meet towards the center. It is a good idea to use different shades of the same colors to give some dimension. At this point, the painting will look funny, but it'll turn out okay, I promise. You can also use some contrasting colors to add some character. My hair and bone design is white, but I'm also adding it to the lines in the base to lighten up the painting. To make sure all the pieces of tape are the same, make a stencil. Here we use some cardboard and the width of our stencil was two pieces of tape, but it all depends on what tape you have. Place the tape at an angle and have a herringbone design that you can use as a guide. It might seem complicated, but once you get the hang of it, you'll get on a roll. And it's okay if you don't get it right at first, as you can reposition the tape. This might take a while, but be patient. It took us 300 pieces to do one of the bigger canvas. So put some music and get some friends and family to help you out. Alright, now take some pieces out so that you're left with some blank spots. This breaks up the pattern nicely and looks amazing. Next, start filling the lines and empty spaces out with your color of choice. We chose the white as it lightens up the painting. Make sure you get in all the nooks and crannies and do a second coat if necessary. Let it dry for about 40 minutes, so it's not wet anymore, but not as dry that it will lift up the paint when you remove the tape. Let the fun begin and remove the tape. This proved to be incredibly satisfying. Now you're all done. And this is how the finished product looks like. So we hope you guys liked it. 
And if you do decide to try it, please tag us so we can see your creations. If you like this video, click the like button down below and subscribe for new videos. Yes, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any other DIY ideas, please just comment them down below and we will give those ones a try. See you later. Bye. Bye.